What are the ordinary test scores, I guess? I guess the DCB, those are ordinary. What's unusual? An A and a what? Fantastic, I guess, okay, by that language. Is that right? OK, you guys OK with that? OK, let's, any questions so far? Nope, let's give you a few notes here. Let's note. Since we're on the topic, let's give you a fact here. In general, OK? Let's give you a fact here. Chebyshev's theorem. OK? And here's what this is. Given any data set, OK, any data set, the population of data lying within k standard deviations is at least 1 minus 1 over k okay, squared, where k is greater than 1. Okay. Now, this is true for any data set. What we mean by any data set is that this distribution, okay, the distribution can be any type. Right? It can be what? Remember we talked about those different types of distribution? They can be uniform, what else? Skew, what else? Or normal. Okay? And so what happens is people kind of want to know, I mean even if this were like in the setting of heights, people may want to know, you know, this range of heights. What percent of the population is it within one standard deviation? What percent of the population is within two standard deviations or three standard deviations? We can kind of deduce what percent of the population um, is in actually what? Both shack and what? Mini me's what? That range. What percent is actually there? Okay, so if I, if I look at this and I note, using this theorem, that if k is 2, what do you guys get? Because the theorem applies when k is larger than 1. What is 1 minus 1 over 2 squared? Right, what do you guys know? Isn't that 1 minus 1 over 4? What is this? Isn't that 0.75? Do you guys know what this means? What does this mean? What does this value mean? About 75% of the data is within what? Two standard deviations of the mean. Okay? 75%, at least, at least 75, and that's another keyword here, at least. What does that mean, at least? If I say I'm going to give you at least $4, can I give you 5? Can I give you 6? If I say, Ashley, you can buy at least two pairs of shoes, can I give her 5? 2 and up, good, exactly. So 75% of the data is within two standard deviations of the mean. Let's go back to this picture. If the setting is height, what that means is 
of all men, because we're talking about men's heights, are within these two values. 75% of all men. Okay? You guys get an idea now of what that means? What does that mean to you? Does that mean anything? What are, what's the heights anyway? Can you tell me what these heights are? What's the heights? Can we say the mean plus two standard deviations? Isn't that what that, what that is? Isn't this the what? The mean minus two standard deviations so that if the mean was 68, 68 plus two times uh, 2.9 is some value. 68 minus two times 2.9 is another value. What do you guys get for those values? This is where your calculator comes in. I'm not preaching, remember? What do you get? What are the values? Sixty-two point two, and what? Seventy-three point eight. Is that right? Okay. How tall is seventy-three point eight anyway? Isn't that six foot something? Six foot what? And how tall is 62.2? How, how do you determine how tall that is? Divide by what number? 12. Is this 6.1? What about this? 62.2. How, how tall is that? 6.2? No. 12 goes into 62 how many times? 5. So it's five foot what? Is that five one? I don't know. You guys tell me. Is it five one? I don't know. I think you guys are gonna have to you have to go back and think about what that is. Maybe not. I don't think it's five one, but it's more than five foot. Okay. <laughs> five two? Okay. I don't know. Think about that. The point is. 75% of men in their heights are between about 5'1", maybe 5'2", and 6'1", maybe 6', foot, I don't know what. Okay? So that's how, that's, that's Chebyshev's theorem. That gives you an approximate idea of how the data is distributed. And that's important because even if these were grades, right? If these were grades, what it means is at least 75% of the class would get either a what? A D, a C, or a B. The remaining 25% would get the either the what? A or the fantastic. So this is by Cherish's theorem, and it's just an estimation. It's not even really accurate because it says at least, meaning it could be larger, get a lot larger. This is a very general theorem. Okay, you guys okay with that one? Now, 